Welcome back. Now, I've been asking this question for a while. Fancy a new job? Well, what about being an emoji translator? Yeah, it, it really is a job. It was advertised in London this week. It sounds cool, doesn't it? The money, well, you'll have to negotiate that. But a warning as well, it could go horribly wrong. There are more pitfalls than you actually think. Jeremy Burge is the CEO of uh, Emojipedia, and he's here with me. Uh, I absolutely love this story. I, I mean, emoji translator, first of all. I mean, what on earth is that? I mean, every emoji has a, a meaning, but there's also the meaning behind that of how people actually use it. So by translating an emoji, you might have to put it into context of which country it's being used in and what it could actually mean. Which is why I said there were uh, pitfalls. Let's go through a few of them. I think we have uh, the first one, which is a waving hand that's going to appear behind me now. Uh, that seems like a pretty upbeat message. Yeah, hello, right or wrong? hello, goodbye. In a lot of countries, that's true, but in some countries, no. In uh, China, they use this one in particular as see you later, don't want to be your mate anymore. Oh, really? Yeah. So it's the brush off. Right, it's a brush <laughs> off, and it can, to add another layer, it could be used sarcastically as well as a fake brush off. So you've really got to look at the content. Let's go to the next one, the thumbs up. I, I mean, I can't quite see where you can go wrong with this one, so tell me where you can go wrong. So the thumbs up in a lot of Western countries, Good, yes, thumbs up, but in a lot of countries it's sort of a, a, a giving a thumb to someone, a rude snubbing symbol, so that's problematic as well if, you, if you're using it internationally, you can't always use it as a yes. There's another one I was uh, just looking at which was using different devices actually can get you into trouble, so take me through that one. Right, so every phone uh, draws their own picture for each emoji, so you think it looks like one thing on your phone, but so when a smiley you... face, for example, let's right. talk about that. Right, you get it, it may be a smiley face, it might have rosier cheeks on one phone, or the, the angle of the mouth might look different or something. There's one of the rolling eyes here that, uh, on an iPhone it looks like this, but on a Samsung phone they draw it in their own way, and it, instead of looking like this disdainful sort of look, it's, uh, so that's almost like an insult. You, what you, so you were saying that that's what the same emoji looks like on, say, I can see there. Right. Clearly I can see the sort of trouble you can get into. That, yeah, that this one here, this is an iPhone, and then on a Samsung phone it looks happy and it looks like it's really sort of grinning wildly and that, that would give you completely a completely different impression. Now, I'm going to put another one up, up on the screen because uh, on taste grounds I can sort of imagine where you can go wrong on this one, but also in terms of interpretation because <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Tell me, in Europe, what do they make of that? I mean, this is generally used as it looks like what it is, something that's not very good. It's a poo emoji. In Japan, it's complicated where it comes from. There's a, a lucky poo as well. So there's some debate about whether this is intended to be the lucky poo emoji or if it's just a cute normal poo. So <laughs> This whole area is just it is fascinating. I mean, you're absolutely immersed in it because it, it reminded me of the story of David Cameron during the Leverton inquiry. People laughing at him because he, he misunderstood what LOL stood for and I suppose <laughs> that's the sort of perils of, of old age. But I was looking at sort of material that you provide through the, the systems that you look at and actually older people are using emojis yeah. quite, quite often. It, it skews younger but old people are, older people are all using emojis, all age groups. Uh, there's one what the stats are showing at the moment is that about 90% of internet users under the age of 40 are using emoji at some stage, but even over the age of 60, they're all using them as and well. And it's exploded, hasn't it, in, yeah. in terms of, I mean, is there any sort of calculation in terms of just even the total number of emojis that are currently being used and the additions that, I don't know, every year they get added to? There's about 100 new ones a year. We're up to around 2,000 if you count all the skin tones, that now you have a face. Yesterday, a lot of iPhone users got the face palm emoji on their face, but then Avoc there's five did I more. Hear avocados, avocado, pregnant women, so all new additions, are they? Whiskey glass, yeah, all these were approved earlier in the year, and they come out to different phones throughout the year. And in terms of the business that you look at, I mean, I was looking at it's an astonishing number in terms of, uh, just to tell our viewers how many people are actually making searches every month for op to Every find out more about emojis. <laughs> so on Emojipedia, which is my company's website, we have 15 million emoji lookups a month with people that want to know what an emoji means or how it looks like on different platforms. What's the weirdest emoji that you've uh, seen that you can remember? A lot of people struggle with the, the fish flags. It's two flags on a flagpole. With, they look like fish. And in Japan, that's used on a day called Children's Day. And a lot of people think that's 
a bit strange. I like there's also another one that's the water closet, WC, but people use it on Instagram to mean woman crush. My editor in my ear is asking, is that an emoji search? Uh, I think he's just being rude. But <laughs> do, do you think this is uh, just a fad that, it would say, in five years' time, the bubble will have burst, will have moved on to a different thing, or you think it's more or less... I think, stay. I think they have a place that will stay, that adding context to a conversation, as long as we use text, emoji allows us to add context to that. So maybe if we move past text, we'll move past emoji, but until then, I don't see it going anywhere. You know, I'm a real dumberhead, but even I have started using them. Jeremy, thank you so much for coming in and talking to us uh, through the course of today's programme.